Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. How are we? Just checking that this is all working and that you can see me. Let me know if you can see me and hear me. Give me a thumbs up. Let's see if this is working. I just want to pull up the comments so that I can see them as they come through. How is everybody? What have you been up to today? Let me know where you're tuning in from. Fabulous, Ali. Thank you. I can see that. It's working. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Fab, fab, fab stuff. How are we all? Where are you watching from? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our conversation as we're going to discuss working with the Akashic Records for your aligned success in your business. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers and coaches increase their performance and magnetism in their personal life and their business. And today I'm going to talk about the benefits of working with your higher self and the Akashic Records for your aligned success in your business. And then for those of you that are ready to explore more about working in the Akashic Records for your business, I um, would love to have a chat with you and in your invitation to have a chat with me I will share how you can do that at the end does that all sound sound good so I'm just going to move that across so I can see hi Dawn hi Ali thank you for joining me and of course if you're watching the replay please do hashtag replay and then I can pop in and answer any questions and say hello to you as well now if you're in business, you know that every business has key components that you need in place for success. So for example, if you have a coaching business, things that you'll need to learn and develop in terms of your skills will be around creating your soul aligned business model, developing your menu of services, and that's so that you can serve your clients for life. So you're not always in that client attraction mode. That said, being in a space where you're developing your skills around attracting and supporting your ideal clients with your eco-marketing system. So you don't want all your eggs in one, one referral basket, so to speak. You want to be able to develop and grow so that you can adapt as the platforms adapt, as you adapt and you grow. Things are going to change as, you're, as you grow and your business grows. So having the aligned marketing system for you is key. And that will include, you know, considering things like, you know, which social media platform to focus on first, testing out your message first before you move into paid marketing, whether that's more aligned for you to do it in terms of automation or organic marketing, pre-recorded webinars or live webinars or Facebook lives, like I'm coming live to you today. Things are going to suit people in a different way and it needs to be aligned for you. And then hosting heartfelt sales conversations and really understanding the spiritual art of sales and coming from a place of, of showing up in service and genuinely, genuinely not being energetically attached to the outcome. Because then when you're in that space, you're able to completely show up from a place of, well, how can I help this person get to where they want to, to go? and helping them let go of any resistance that might be holding them back when they booked the call and they really wanted to say yes. because And people will feel your energy around that. So that's absolutely key as well. And of course, having a system that enables you to, to grow profitably and to stay in energetic alignment as your business grows. Because at every new level of your business, your monkey mind and limiting beliefs will pop up as your um, comfort zone expands and so that's absolutely key to keep doing the energy work so that you can stay in alignment and part of that is around raising your wealth consciousness that you claim your worth you don't undercharge that you're open to receive money coming into your business from from doing the work that you love and your business has its own consciousness and as you take care of it, it will take care of you. And it also has its own Akashic records, which are connected to your soul purpose, which is why it's so powerful to work with your higher self and the Akashic records. So there's two angles to this. 
working in the records for yourself, obviously, to support your own growth and your own business growth. But then, of course, also you can offer this as a service to your clients as well. And and everyone I know who starts working in the Akashic Records gets completely addicted to it. The frequency of it when you're working in it is so different. Who here joined in the wealth activation and the Akashic Records the other, other day? And pop in the comments below and let us know if you you know your experience of it and working in the records on that day how did that feel hi emma hi susan susan's a bit of a superstar va hi tara hi helen ah oh, so glad you're all here that's wonderful jackie was here hi jackie and karen i know you guys were joined for the wealth activation as well and so that's something that for me, when I started working in the records was really recognizing the frequency of it was really different and the power of working at that, that frequency. Hi, Amber. Oh, hello, lovely. How are you? So good to see you. Helen saying, yes, it was awesome. Oh, fantastic. Yes, it was a real honor to share it. And we had um, over 84 register for it um, before the event and then we've had people joining and uh, registering for the replay afterwards Debbie was there and it was brilliant oh thank you Debbie it was a real honor to to share that with you and I absolutely am addicted to it to working in the Akashic Records I completely love it so this is why I wanted to to share this intro with you today ah oh, Debbie's here as well Debbie and Debbie that's wonderful and I feel your high vibes thanks gorgeous oh fantastic absolutely fantastic. So I wanted to share with you a little bit around the importance of when you're taking care of your, your business, you do this by looking after your own energy as well as making sure your business has all the systems and structures and the strategies in place so that your business can grow, your business can feel safe and secure with what you have put in place, but also you're feeling safe and secure and you're magnetic within that so that your soulmate clients can find you and receive the support that they deserve and require to make their impact in the world with whatever that, that they're doing. So you have your own Akashic Records. Your business has its own Akashic Records as well. So what are the Akashic Records? Well, all of us have a soul and our soul has a blueprint. So think of this like a, a roadmap or a book of information for our existence on the planet. And it tells us things like, what we're here to do, what we're here to learn, what we're here to master, who we're here to, to meet. And when I'm doing a reading for someone, I'm accessing that information for other people so that they can be plugged into that information if they're not able to, to tap into it, you know, themselves. And conscious co-creation, it's not about receiving a bunch of answers from the Akashic Record Keepers. I'm doing the, uh, when I'm working in the records and doing a reading, I'm doing the reading, but you're guiding the show of your life, so to speak. And what's really key is to think that, you know, the future is still unwritten. So working in the records, it's not like a psychic reading or mediumship. This is a spiritual reading. And there are energies that can indicate what the future can likely look like. But of course, at any time we can make a decision or a choice and those decisions and choices and actions can change what happens ahead of us. Does that make sense? So this is more about when you're doing a reading with someone is about getting clear on their purpose, how to work with those energies to create a really juicy life, how to heal from past energies. This could include you know, physical ailments, mental, emotional um, challenges, how to co-create what we want and to program our body and mind to hold certain frequencies and program the intention of what we want to easily create and to be able to receive that in in an easy way that's what i absolutely love about it it is really in printing what we want at that high level and working across all the different layers of the aura so the akashic records are the energetic records of your soul so they hold all the information about the truth of who you really are and it records every word thought action, event, emotion, and of course, all your belief systems. And so what happens by accessing your Akashic Records, you receive information to, to understand your blocks and limitations in life at such a deep level and the insights and the possible choices that you have 
available to you in co-creating a better outcome. And what I found is that this automatically brings awareness in terms of in providing you an opportunity for deep, deep transformational healing in all dimensions, planes and times by when you're embracing a new reality that's of the highest service to you and your soul's journey. So people will come for an Akashic record reading when they're looking for clarity on the direction of their business and wondering if they're in alignment with their, you know, if this, if their path is in alignment with their intentions. They'll come for a reading when they're unsure about what their soul's purpose is and wanting to find out more about their gifts and their talents and how they can use them. And of course, when people are looking for freeing themselves from limiting patterns and blockages and being able to be in that space where they're creating greater understanding and connection to their soul's growth and being in a space where they're able to ready to receive miracles in their life, quantum leaps. And I have found that working in the Akashic Records is the deepest, most profound toolkit for being able to consciously co-create and manifest the results that you want to fulfill your soul's purpose. And it's such an honor working with the record keepers. So the benefits, I think, from, from my perspective are around, you know, being able to connect with your guides, ascended masters, teachers, record keepers, getting to know who your spiritual team are, who's your squad, who's got your back. It's so empowering, so, so empowering. And being able to discover your soul's purpose and your, your gifts and talents and being able to know that you're working in alignment with those, having no doubt when you're able to open your records, you go in, you have a chat with your record keepers. It gives you that inner, inner confidence and you're able to really powerfully transform your relationships, co-create and manifest so fast um, because you're working at all dimensions across all planes and across all times. just going to check to see if there's any questions coming up so please do say hello as you're jumping on I can see other people hopping on as well and of course if you're watching the replay please do hashtag replay as well okay so a lot of people ask oh, my hair's got attached to the mic people don't ask me that <laughs> uh, but a lot of people ask me how can you um, support your business with with the Akashic Records how can I work with the Akashic Records for my business well of course working in the Akashic Records helps you to heal trauma past life interference karma and to discover your soul's purpose and of course some of this will affect because we're whole people and when we're self-employed and entrepreneurs, it's going to have a direct impact on our ability to create our business because our energy is infusing into the energy and the consciousness of our business. So you can access the Akashic Records to help yourself in really practical ways, including supporting your business. And I always recommend people have a daily practice and you can simply start by asking your record keepers each day, with the simple things in terms of what's going to keep you in alignment with the intention that you want to create and receive, you can ask them to help you organize your day so that you prioritize the things in the right order. You can ask them questions like, show me how I can be of service to my community with my business. What is it that my community needs from me right now? What project is there? that's in the highest good for my business and my soul work? What soul contracts do I have with this business who is offering me a job or offering to help me in my business? So this daily practice sets the intention to move through your day in alignment with your soul and divine energy. And the Akashic Masters will give you the practical steps to do if you ask. So you've heard me talk a lot about energy. Everything in the universe is made up of energy with its own vibration. And your business has its own set of unique records as well, as well as your family, your pets. Would you like to read the Akashic records for your, your dog or your cat? And as you learn to access Akashic records for other people, which I teach in level two and level three of the intensives I 
intensives I offer, you're able to then open the records of your business as well. So you can ask questions such as, for example, so what can I do to help support my business? Remembering your business has its own consciousness. You have a relationship. You're in relationship to your business. What blocks are there to create abundance in my business that I can know and clear now? You can ask things like, you know, is this marketing strategy in alignment with my intentions for my income growth for my business this year? And you can use the records to understand how different people or situations may be affecting your business and what you can do to heal or to clear any negative energy. There's so many tools and techniques to support you and your business to make more money and to clear abundance blocks that, you know, it might be holding. So I absolutely love working with the Akashic Records. Helen's asking, would you say that the Akashic Records is more power, are more powerful than doing EAM? I would say that they are, a fan, in terms of EAM for me, is like the stepping stone to the Akashic Records, working at different frequencies. I'm working in a completely different frequency when I've opened up my records or I've opened up somebody else's records. What I tend to do now when I'm doing EAM is I open my records. So I can combine the two and it is so much more powerful. And this for me is the, the next stepping stone to really help people improve their results. Because working in the records, you're working at outer layers of frequencies that we don't talk about when we're talking about EAM. For me, EAM is really working around the thoughts and emotions and beliefs, those layers of your aura. And it really opens you up to receiving spiritual guidance. And then the Akashic Records gives you that, takes it to that next level. That is my personal experience. It's a nice thing. It's a brilliant partnership. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I hope that answers your question, Helen. Fab stuff. Any other questions, please do post below. And if I miss, the, miss them as whilst I'm live, I will pop back later and, and answer them. So the Akashic Records, you can start a spiritual business using the Akashic Records. And if you don't have a business yet and you're thinking, actually, you want to start one, you can start one, have an Akashic Record consultation. And you can do this by learning to access the Akashic Records for other people and become a certified Akashic Record consultant. So working in the Akashic Records of your business or starting your own Akashic consulting business, do you know, it's a perfect way to be able to be in that space where you're working in your heart as you work in your business. Debbie's saying, how cool is that? I know, it's so cool, so cool. And every single person can access the Akashic Records. You just need to know how, and it is our birthright to have access to that divine wisdom and healing, the energy of your souls and all the beings of light that are here to support you. So for those of you that want to find out more about the Akashic Records Certification Program, because I know I did an email out earlier this week, so some of you will have um, seen some of the information, some of you may, may not know about it yet. Um, and it might be you're interested in just learning how to access the records for yourself or you want to learn how to access your own Akashic records and to gain certification towards becoming an Akashic record teacher or con and consultant, then I'd just love to take a moment to share the info with you. So the training that I teach is this is three levels. It's the soul journeys method and it's absolutely phenomenal and is designed to teach you how to instantly access your own records so that you can have access to that limits, limitless divine guidance and energy healing around topics including the power of the Akashic Records and the infinite nature of the soul, accelerating your soul mastery and so much more, being able to really access and Fine-tune your gifts and co-creative abilities so that you can thrive. You can feel it when your Akashic Record Keepers are working on you. And being able to integrate the wisdom into your everyday life and clearing those limiting patterns and energy blocks that hold you back and aligning to your soul's purpose. And being able to access your records and gaining that crystal clarity about how you receive your divine messages because everyone receives them in different ways. 
So keep the questions coming and I'll just come back in a second to answer them. So you can ac you can choose to join our level one intensive for accessing your own records only. And that uh, it, it's, a, it's not a requirement that you go on to the other levels. But if you do wish to recall, read the records for others, then you're required to complete all records. Uh, Sunita, thank you. Sunita saying, highly recommend the training, Louise. Louise, it really opens you up so much more than you expect. I know it's magical. Thank you. Lovely. Ali saying, I'm attracting proofreading clients. I'm new to business world. How do I balance pricing consistent with the professional standards whilst bearing in mind that I'm just starting out? So Ali, I will I'll just answer that question when I come to the end. I'm just going to, I'm glad I read it because sometimes they disappear. <laughs> So I'll remember that question um, and come back to that because that's very specific around your business. What I wanted just to, to say was if you are do wish to, to read the records for yourself and, and others, then the, the three levels will enable you to do that. And if you already know that you want to do that at this stage, you're feeling that in the pool, then please just drop me a, a, a message and um or post below and i'll, I'll, I'll uh, get the, the full details to you just choose whatever's right for you so our level one intensive is on the 25th of july and 26th of july and our early bird pricing is available for people who are paying in full um, until the 10th of july and we've got payment plan options as well and this training is going to teach you what the akashic records are learn how to access and heal in your Akashic records and apply different techniques to really manifest what your souls desire. So we do manifesting in the Akashic records. You're going to access divine guidance and healing around the power of the Akashic records, how to open the Akashic records and to gain crystal clear clarity about how to receive your divine messages and how to best integrate this wisdom into your everyday life. It's a new way of living, how to clear any limiting patterns and energy blocks that hold you back. This really is a powerful toolkit and how to activate all your divine gifts and co-creative abilities so that you can thrive in your soul's greatness and to fully align to your soul's purpose and to accelerate your soul mastery. There's so many techniques that you can use. I absolutely love it. Working with those frequencies and working with your record keepers. There's so much that goes on, more than you can say with the human words we have got. So if this resonates in your heart, then I really do hope that you're able to join us. So just let me know in the comments below or please do send me a direct message if you're interested and I'll get the details over to you so you can check it out. And then of course, for those of you that are wanting to weave offering Akashic Record readings and consultations as a service in your business, you will want to go on to do level two and three, which I'm hosting later in the year. So you will need to do all three levels. Um, which I can't wait to share with you. So level two is around learning how to open the records of others, having and you have the time and space to practice how to go deep, how to go beyond the surface level questions so that you really get to those root causes, learning really advanced techniques. That In learning these skill sets, what I found is it does, it infiltrates into everything that I do as well. So you, you, sh you know, you, you, you're able to use those skills um, across and not just it within the the in terms of asking the right questions not just with what you do within the readings that really has enhanced my coaching and there's loads of support and you're partnered with a colleague to host practice sessions as well so you're and you're fully supported in between the intensive weekends as well that is my commitment to you and then when you're certified you can host your own Akashic Record consultations and have that complete honor because it is a complete honor to read the records of someone else's Akashic Records. I just absolutely love it. And then once you're certified, if you choose, you can be listed on the Soul Journeys website to receive referrals from there and be part of the Soul Journeys Akashic Record uh, consultant community. So just to recap, to create a successful business, you need all of the foundational pieces in alignment for your success and growth from your business model and menu of services, your eco-marketing system, sales, systems for running the service and tracking your profitability and growth. And key is a, a, alongside this is expanding your wealth consciousness and your business wealth consciousness. And because your business has its own consciousness as well. And as you take care of it, it will take care of you. 
I absolutely love working in Akashic Records and believe that it gives you that leading edge for your aligned success, both for you personally and, and uh, within your business. So I hope that that has served you as an introduction as you work with the consciousness of your business for your aligned success. And any questions, please do pop them below. I'm going to come back and answer the ones that have come through. So Ali's saying she's attracting proofreading clients. You're new to business world. How do you balance pricing consistent with professional standards whilst bearing in mind that you're just starting out? So one thing, Ali, if you're doing some market research around what other people are charging, it's just to use that as a benchmark, but also reckon, remember that they've priced it in accordance with their own money mindset. So I want you to muscle test for what's the right pricing for you. And if you're in alignment with it, and of course, go into your records because Ali's done the record, uh, the level one, and ask what is the right pricing for you and your ideal clients? Because not knowing who your ideal clients, there might be, if you are, if your ideal clients are corporate, that could be a different pricing in relation to if it's somebody who is uh, self-employed. So let me know if that helps. So I want you to do a little bit of market research as to who the other proofreaders are in relation to your ideal client. But bear in mind that that's been created from their, their money mindset points. It's not necessarily um, meant to be the right way. So many people also undercharge thinking, oh, I'm going to undercharge the local community because then people will go with me. Mm -mm. Definitely don't do that. And then I want you to go into your records, Ali, so that you can ask. What is the right pricing for me? Does that make sense? Let me check to see if you've got that. I'll pop back and check if. Uh... To see if you've got that guidance there. And clear around how to ask in your records in relation to that. That'd be so exciting. You have to let me know what they say and bring yourself into alignment, of course, with, with, with that. And it's knowing that you're pricing as well. You can do like an introductory offer with a view that you can use that for people um, to get testimonials. You can just see Ali saying total shift off your, on your life's purpose. Yes, now finally you're listening and you know when you're rearing off path. Hooray, Ali, that's amazing. And yes, you're already attracting your ideal clients. I'm so proud of you. This is so cool. So cool. So ask the record keepers around the pricing. Ask if the introductory rate is the right thing for you to do. And then you can have your normal rate as it were after the introduction introductory rate so then you've got a nice bunch of testimonials for your social media and your website absolutely love it so exciting this is a massive shift for you Ali when did this all start coming through oh so exciting So, so exciting. So if you're watching the replay, please do hashtag replay so I can pop back and say hello. And then, of course, if you have any questions and you're watching the replay, please do post them below. We'll pop back later and um, come and answer them for you. As I said, I hope that this has served you. Any questions, pop below. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And for those of you that are joining me on the Akashic Record Weekend Intensive, I cannot wait to share this with you. It will be my complete honor. I'm really, really, really excited. Anyway, sending you guys loads and loads of love. I can't see any other questions, so we will wrap it up for there. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening, and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.